Welcome back to round one, the show where we play just the beginning of a game to give you a taste of what it's like. And today, Emily, Ryan, and I are going to be playing Astra. This is a brand new game that was just announced probably today or yesterday, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, but we're going to be playing astrom astronomers looking up into the night sky and observing these constellations. There's a whole deck of cards that have all these constellations. And you see these dry erase markers. We're not going to be, this is not a flipping right. This right. is not a rolling right. This is really a deterministic game of kind of cat and mouse because on your turn, you're going to be either observing or you're going to be resting. And when you observe, you're going to be taking one of these cards and filling in some of the nodes. And there are some rules that we'll explain as we do that. But you're not going to be able to fill in all of the nodes necessarily on any constellation because we're all really trying to observe them. But the person who fills in the last node is going to be able to claim that constellation. But when they do, everyone else who's contributed to that card is going to be able to take a boon. Mm -hmm. The person who gets the card doesn't get a boon, but they mm -hmm. get the card which has an ability that they're gonna be able to use at the very beginning of their turn because the ability phase is gonna happen before you take your action. Yep. But that won't happen very early no. in the game because none of us have constellations yet. <laughs> Not yet. So we've got four constellations out here. We've got player boards right here and everything is going to use this dry erase marker. You're gonna track your score, but there's a couple of other things you're gonna track here. There's a pouch that holds stardust, and the stardust are these little gems here. Yep. And at the beginning of the game, we can hold five, but we start with eight. Yep. Um, because you can have more stardust than there is space in your pouch. It's just going to only refill to your pouch limit. Exactly. It's one of the things you get when you rest. But we'll be able to increase that pouch by filling in these spaces and holding more stardust. And then across the bottom is the wisdom track. Mm -hmm. This is going to be filled in through getting boons or using abilities but this is going to dictate how many constellation cards you can have or acquire. So if I can only acquire two, like we all can at the beginning of the game, and I take my third, I'm gonna to have to get rid of one of the constellation cards. And some of those cards are gonna carry points at the end of the game. Yep. There's going to be some subtle set collection, I think, also with those cards for some scoring at the end of the game, but we're also gonna be scoring points throughout the game from some of the boons and some other, other things. So I think we're going to jump right into it. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's let's observe, let's observe the, the night, night sky. sky. Oh boy, it's like you guys planned that. Actually, no, we didn't. it's just how we are. <laughs> so I uh, we determined that I was going to be the first player. We're going to play, like I said, three rounds, so you can get an idea of all the things that are going to be going on to the, with this game. Yeah, and then we'll come back and tell you about the full experience. So there's quite a few things. <laughs> Honestly, for it being what they would consider a lighter experience, there's still yeah. a lot There's some happening. thinking. There's yeah. definitely some thinking going on. Like I yeah. said, I mentioned cat and mouse, and that is because you want to determine, like, okay, I'm going to fill in some nodes, but I don't want to fill in too many because then Emily might right. be able to finish it. Yeah. And if I want the card, I don't want her to finish it. But I do but, want her to finish it because I want to get a boon. Yeah, maybe I want the boon more than I want the card, so maybe I'll just go big on one card, which brings me to my first turn. Oh, what but you don't do? want to leave like just one node because you should have to pay more than one Stardust for a card. I'll say that right now. Yeah, there is. Don't all, leave just one space. But you can. <laughs> you can. It, it, it can possible. happen. For sure. There is one other component that we haven't talked about, and that's these telescope tokens. The telescope tokens are going to be things that you can acquire. I already see some on some of the boons here. Yeah. Yep. When you have one of those, you're allowed to take your observed portion of your action and observe more. Mm -hmm. So that's going to allow you to fill in a little bit more nodes or maybe even go to a different constellation because, like we said, there's some reasons for having your mm -hmm. color on these cards because you're going to get a boon once it gets completed, no matter who completes it. All Except right, David, you. show us. How yes. do you what observe? Are you gonna do? What I'm going to go big. We all start with eight stardust, mm -hmm. and I didn't think I was going to do this, but Centaurus over here, uh -huh. he's got a lot of nodes going on. He has and 14 I, to be exact. I, I, oh, wow. Yeah, all the cards oh, show. I thought you just counted it so quickly. <laughs> I was quickly. so fast. <laughs> all the cards show it up in the upper right-hand corner, the number of nodes they have, and then the other part here is the victory points they'd have if you have them active at the end Let's of the see. game. So I'm going to take Centaurus here. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just, I'm not, I won't do it one by one, but I am going to spend all eight wow. of yeah. my Stardust. So you have to start at that starting mark. Yeah, you have to start at the starting mark, which, mark, which is the node that has the little ring around it. And then, whenever you're observing, you have to continue with nodes that are adjacent to the very last one that you filled in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go up his leg here, into his lower torso. Mm-hmm. Like this, and now I'm going to go down because I want to go oh, to one of these shiny stars. Grand stars is what they're called, and oh. when you hit a grand star, and I just hit two, 
I get to fill in my wisdom Look track. At that. So I'm going to fill in my wisdom track, and now I can hold three constellations. Not that that's what my plan is. I mean, you have zero to begin with. So but the more maybe. interesting thing to me is, not to give away too much of my strategy, is I have a lot of nodes filled in on this. But you this. have the majority right now. Yeah. So right. you're going to get so the boon. If I'm not the one who claims that card, I get my first pick at these boons. And one of those is five points, which isn't nothing in this game. Or, I mean, there's a lot of really good boons on that card, obviously. I mean, that power is pretty good, too. So that's another thing you have to be looking at, too, is not necessarily do I want to get the boons, but I, do I want to claim the card yeah. and get these really, really good powers? Yep. yep, so that was my turn. Emily, take it away. Okay, I'm not going to do quite so many. Um, I'm going to go for one of the smaller cards, actually, and Let's I think I'm going to go yeah. on Cassiopeia. Um, so I'm going to start in her middle, so that's her starting point. And then I'm going to go to yep. the right and then right yep. on up to get that grand star as well. So that's going to cost me three stardust. I'm just going to get one more wisdom. Um, and that's it for me because I don't have any telescopes. That's so. not bad because you still have stardust left. I, See, I, Emily's, yeah. Emily's put herself into a position on round two to actually maybe finish one. Well, you're going to have to rest. So. Yeah. Yes. I am. Unless someone finishes okay. one. If you finish that one now, I oh, I can't. Not I gonna, if I finish Cassiopeia... Only Emily will get a what, boom. Only Emily will get a boom. What's the power there? Instantly gain one for each undiscovered constellation you've already marked. So zero. So finishing that constellation is not really in my best. Well, yeah, but that benefit. power is something you can use at the beginning of your turn every time. Oh, is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But only at the beginning of your turn. So it'll be Correct. the next In turn. the abilities phase, So. Yeah. It already, like, uh, it's going to be a while before this scores me points. Yeah, but through the course of the game, Cassiopeia could really, really be want, a good little really engine. You really want me to get this one. I'm not, no, I, I have don't. an idea. I'm going to stick with my plan. I would like you plan. to get that one. I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go with lupus. I like oh. wolves. I like lupus. This is cool. Also, I had a plan here to do uh, only, actually, to do four. Or I could do four. Yeah, I'll do four gems. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think I know the ones. And I'm going to start so, here too. and go one. Oh, two, three, oh, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, three four. four. So you get one wisdom. And that gives me one wisdom as well. Yep. Nice. All right, David, we're back to you. And as you've mentioned, you have no stardust. <laughs> have no stardust left. I have no stardust. So that means I have to do the other option than observe, and that is to rest. Mm -hmm. When you rest, if you had constellations that you'd sort of used and exhausted, the ones that are highlighted here with this marker right here, which is the sphere marker, would sort of become active again. Yep. So right so now, if they were fire, any fire constellations would become active. I don't have any. Nope. So I am going to get stardust, though, up to my pouch size. So, so I get five stardust. That's coming here. Yep. And then this marker is going to move clockwise to the next section. So we're All at the right. next element. And then when this marker gets all the way around, every time it passes here, we're simply going to discard a card off of the deck. That's going to happen. And, of course, more constellations are going to come out. And the game is going to be triggered when we get to a certain point in the deck. Yeah, gotcha. yeah which we marked. Back to you. Right, we marked it out. Yes. Um, I think mm -hmm. I'm going to move us just a little bit closer on this lupus. Ooh. So I can start from anything that's adjacent to one of the already marked ones. So I'll just start right on here. Go one two three and so i do get that one wisdom nice and oh boy. then it allows me to get three cards oh so boy. i want i want the boon so i don't want to finish lupus because i would hmm. get the card if you take a rest action gain um, uh gems equal to your bag instead of just refilling oh yeah. Well, that's, that's not pretty so good. bad if you have a lot if you had some left over you had some left over i'm not sure i'll have many stardust at, when I rest, though, I've, I'm hoping efficiently I'll have. Well, I've got four left, so I'm going to use all four and come over here to. Uh, is it Delphinus? So we're going to do uh, four here. So that's one, two, three, four. Yep. Doesn't matter. You can go either way. Oh, that's true. I guess I could have gone either way, but I kind of like doing that way. I've got options. So that's you have a lot me... of options now, David. I've got options. Unfortunately, none of my options. Are uh, great. Well, they'll be they'll be to finish a card. So look, what did I say about one... leaving you a card for one? But I really wanted the boon there. So oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So I think... so. Kind of which card do you want? David? Exactly. It's going to be. I can take Delphinus, 
Or I can take Lupus. Or Cassiopeia. Or Cassiopeia. Yeah. Or Cassiopeia. You just cannot, yeah, you were just telling me how good that card is. You know what? I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> do it. Do it. Uh, and I'm going to finish Cassiopeia. Yes. I'm yeah. waiting for the, the end of the the round one where you said that this was a right. terrible idea. We'll filling her happens. knees <laughs> and filling her leg. Cassiope- Cassiopeia is done. Now, before I take Cassiopeia into my collection... We're going to do Discovery We're going to do... Uh, well, yes, the Discovery phase. Oh, that's right. I could... Oh, I need to spend these, by the way. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. cheat. No, don't cheat. So this is the Discovery phase when you would take this into your possession. The first part of that is to go through that process to see who else other than me contributed to this. That would just be Emily. So Emily's going to be able to pick one of these four boons at the bottom. It's two points. You can increase the size of your pouch for Stardust by one. You can get three Stardust. Or you can get one point. I'd go for the one point if I were you. <laughs> Out of all those. Um, just I forget, about the, and the two, forget they, about the two and points. The reason they have that, this game plays up to five players. So there could be a point where four people are picking these. But once one is picked, that's no longer available. And I feel like there's a strategy to play conservatively and just drop one boon or, or one mark just on, get every, on, card. Everything. Just get yeah, on yeah. every card. You could yeah. get on everything and get boons that way because there are points to be had on the boons. I think I'm going to do the two points. Two so points. So I'm going to mark those off on mine. And I'm on the board. And I would normally also mark this off if other people were playing. Yep. I don't need to, but I thought I'd yeah, show why not? You. So I'm going to store these over the side. And I can use this at the beginning of any of my turns yep. during the ability phase if it's active. Right now it comes in as active, so I've got it ready to go. And we, uh, get, oh, and I, I and we get a new card out, right? Yep, we do. Let's see what the new one is. The new one is, drum roll please. Ooh, Ursa, Ursa Major. Major. Oh. oh, it's kind of a medium sized one, really. It's worth one point. It's I would got say seven it's nodes. Major it's, sized. And it's got three, <laughs> okay. three um, grand stars oh, it on it. All right. I think I'm good. So I only have two Stardust right now. I think I'm going to just spend one of it to finish off that Delphinus. Yes. Oh. That was so, what I was hoping somebody would yeah. do. Sorry. Unfortunately, I would be in a really great position now, but I have no gems. I guess I could get three. Yeah, so your boons are oh. going to be either two points, uh, telescope. That's pretty nice. I know. I really want three stars or the single yeah, point. Yeah, I have to say the telescope would be nice. But three stardust allows me to not rest. have to rest right now. I that would still do the telescope. With yeah, that's so also, I, that was my plan. There's one point as well, if you want. <laughs> It's always just you gotta like, get on the board. Just so you, know, you could always just get one point out I mean, of it. If you want to, no, I'm gonna take the telescope. Yeah. Okay. There's, I feel like that's too good. Now, I'm not gonna be able to use it right away, but I will be able to use it soon. Delphinus, then... welcome to the constellation crowd. Oh, I like the name of your club. <laughs> uh, next one is Virgo. Ooh, Ooh a big okay. one. I'm not an expert one, yeah. on constellations. Are either of you? No. I mean, I don't know that I would say expert, but I recognize most constellations. Yeah, I'm assuming that all of the constellations in this game are probably accurate constellations. All the ones that I've seen so far. So are. far, yes. I mean, some of them ring a bell. Ursa, Ursa, Ursa Major, Major is yeah. definitely Virgo. one. Virgo. So Virgo, what's the ability on Virgo? Instantly, if you have this, mark any one star and all stars adjacent to it, oh. ignoring the star marking rules. Spend what? no stardust. Skip your action phase this turn. Oh, skip your action phase. But that's that's still really, so that is really good. good. Yeah, but you're not spending stardust. But I was waiting for the drawback, and then it, it came. Sure. But yeah. But it's not a big drawback. I well, I have to rest. It also has four. It's a, as big as Centaurus. Yeah. It's got fourteen nodes. So I get my five back, uh, and we're gonna rotate this one more space. Oh, you rested. I, you I rested. had to. I was completely out of. Oh, stardust. that's right. You took the telescope. I did. Um, next turn, maybe I'll use it. All right, it is back to me. And this is the third round, and I'll tell you right now, we might play more than three rounds really, really quick, just so you can see a little <laughs> bit. I'm not done. I'm going to keep going on camera. Yeah. Um, all right, so I, I think I'm going to observe, obviously. Well, and you, don't forget, you have an ability now, so you can take your ability and tap yeah, that Yeah, but as I well. only have... I think I am going to take it, even though... No, you know what? I'm not going to take it. Not no, yet. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be a while before fire can reset... And yeah, because you're not going to get. Yeah, you're not going to reset it until here. Yeah. But what Two I am going to do is I'm going to observe, observe on. I'm going to observe on Virgo. Oh, you're Let's starting it. it. Um, oh, this is interesting. I am going to. Oh, you don't have enough. I'm just going to spend two. Okay. To get on the board with Virgo, just starting put some things down. On her right foot, and up the leg. Interesting. Just to put some things down. Um, I didn't want to go empty on my Stardust, uh, but I wanted to get those out there because of things. Oh, because, yeah. Because Some of reasons. Cassiopeia things. 
It's I, kind of cool because now I was afraid with Centaurus that you guys just out of spite were never going to help me finish, finish that. But if I get some of those out there and you don't finish those, I could use yeah, Cassiopeia points. for yeah, more for points yeah. for sure. So on my turn, I am going to do something in the ability phase. So I'm going to tap Delphinius and oh. I'm going to gain three Stardust. Oh, nice. Immediately. So I'm going to do that because I only had one and now I have four. So that seems like the right amount to play with. And that's a good one. That's that a, is a good that's, one. That's, that's, a, that's a good useful power. for sure. Yeah. And by the way, even though her pouch wasn't full, these boons, I think we'd mentioned this before, if it had been full, she could have still taken those because yeah. yeah. it allows it you exceeded. to sort of exceed that limit. Uh, I'm going to go on Ursa Major. Mm. And so I'm going to start in that starting spot, do mm. one, one, two, Three and four, and that's going to give me two. Oh, and you also made it so nobody can stars. finish it with one action. That's true. That's all four of your stardust. That's all four of my stardust. So it's looking like yeah, that did next make turn. it so no one could Might finish it next. I could. Let me see what its ability is. Except for you with a telescope. You may pay three gems to gain one telescope. Oh. Oh. oh that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Cool. Whoa, that is pretty that's good. That's three Just gems having... is a lot. Yeah, but a built-in engine for a telescope is not bad. No, that's not bad. I don't know which of these cards I want. I think I want to just put more points down on Virgo. I think Do I'm going to put four you down know. on Virgo. And go... Uh, let me take Virgo and go... It's going to start adjacent. One, two, two and then down a, the hand. Three, three four. So four to and that got you two stars. wisdom. Yeah. It did, but I don't have... It's, wisdom is not super helping me when I don't even have any Well, we don't own any so cards. Get one. So, so <laughs> these tracks that we mentioned on the player boards, they also they help you during the game, but both of those tracks That's are true. also going also to score points. you points, points at the end of the game. So you may as well go up as far as you want, it, even if you're not going to grab a lot of constellations. Points are beneficial, yeah. Where are you on the... Oh, you're high on your I'm wisdom. I'm high. You're close to four, four cards. I'm, I have almost to four cards as yeah. well. Well, um, I think... Now is the time. Now is the oh, time. no. You know what? Oh, this no, is perfect. Know. I'm going to observe one more time. And we are going to play more than three okay. rounds. We'll David's like, I'm going to roll. I, wanna get like, I, we I want to get this playing recorded. Until I'm in we the might lead. play five full games of this <laughs> and change the name of round one to five games. Uh, no, I'm going to play uh, on Ursa Major. Okay. I had yeah. one. Yeah. And I'm going to put this one right here. Oh... That's a mean spot. And I strategically wow, did that so that Ursa Major will still be here, hopefully, yeah. on my next turn. Because I can't imagine Emily's going to fill in the one wow. so that Ryan can Well, and I don't it. have any Stardust, oh, so oh. that is even less likely. That yeah, so that I, I filled in one on Ursa Major, and hopefully, please, let some of these still be So it's like you were turn. saying, too. This game has, it's it's very simple, but it also has these strategic yeah. points where oh. you're like, ooh, but if I do it here, you're going to be forced to do this, and you're going to be forced to do that, and you see I'm going to rest. Speaking of that, I'm going to rest. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think... My guess is that's what Mind Clash is going to be all about with this Mind Clash play line. Yeah. Is they definitely want you to remember that this is a Mind Clash game still. Uh, Something think... to note though on my rest is that, so I did have this one tapped, but because we were in wind and he's kind of a water, oh, that's I don't get to untap him right now. Yeah, uh, so now that... we're in water. Yeah, but yeah, it's going to be tricky. But I'm not going to want to rest again on my next turn. Because if one of us rests. Well, I, have, I only have one gem. So I'm probably going to rest. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I guess I could spend it for. You no, get, you know what? You could, I'm you could jump on the train. You could jump I, on the Ursa oh Major train. Jump on, this is what I was saying. Get at least one <laughs> thing on each. There we go. It's I got his bad. eye. Because I could have four constellations. So that's your turn? Now. That is my turn. I've not done great on the wisdom track because I've given you guys too many opportunities. That's all I'm but... doing is trying to get the. All great right. Stars. So. <laughs> Thank God this happened. Like Emily, I am going to use this phase at the beginning, the ability phase, to use yep. Cassiopeia and instantly gain one point for each undiscovered constellation you've wow. already marked. And I've marked Ursa Major, Virgo, and Centaurus. So I get three, three points. points. So I get three points. Now, the point track Goes. has every point labeled, but I'm just going to mark three. Oh, three come on, points. David. And then just, it's okay. A, it's you, a dry erase marker. You, you gotta use it to its fullest. Emily, I, I, use I, as much of that ink as possible, I, ha I have to agree, it does look cooler it when looks, you fill the bubble It's satisfying to color the It bubble. is very yeah. satisfying to color in the bubble. 
So that's my turn. Um, I'm going to rest after I yep. did that because I can't do anything so you else. you get five gems? You still have five? I have five gems. Unfortunately, I was one away also yep. from Cassiopeia on the fire. That's one of the reasons. Spoiler alert, strategy talk. That's why I didn't rest because I saw it would go to fire and I knew you would get her back. So oh, that would have been fantastic. Thanks, uh, Ryan. It's kind of a jerk move. Now we I'll did, remember that. We did cross over say, this discard symbol, so we'll have to discard a card. And that's important to deck. know, too, because that there's a game end. Yep. So once we get through enough of the cards, that's how we'll know it to stop. Um, yeah. So we either get through all the constellations or we rest so much that we saw nothing, I Yeah, guess. it really does, for as straightforward as this game is, it really does a lot of interesting little things. Yeah. Um, so, Emily, take it away. We'll I'm going to observe. Two more... Two more rounds? Sure. Yeah. All right. So this is, you don't you have want. to twist my arm, David. I mean, we're going to play the whole game. So. We might end up playing the whole game. I mean, I'm not on camera, but we'll no. play the whole game anyway. Well, that's true. I'm going to put my uh, stake into Virgo as well and put a couple down here so that way I can get my other wisdom. Uh. And now I can hold up to four cards. Looks like Virgo is going to take a while to finish. Yeah. For sure. That's what they think. I do think. Well, I don't really have much of an option on She's my turn. you. Other than to rest. <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm still at five. I really need to get another uh, one of those. The pouch. The pouch. I need mm -hmm. to get an upgrade pouch, which I could get could here at Ursa Major, Major if somebody goes and finishes that one. Oh, my, my, my. We'll my, see my, what my. happens. Where are you going, David? Um, what's Ursa Major do? If I'll let you buy the telescopes. Eight, three for a telescope. Yeah, that's not bad. There is... Okay, so I could finish Lupus also. Yes. You could. <laughs> and I could get a benefit. Um, I could get a boon. I've been waiting for a boon this whole game. Oh. Boon me, baby. I know. It's a good power, too. I think I will finish Lupus. Okay. Uh, so it's just going to take two Stardust. Yep. yep. To fill in here mm -hmm. and here. Um, and that's going to be my turn. All right. And then we will go to the discovery phase. Everyone's got stuff on here. Uh, but it looks like Ryan has I one, do. two, three, four. Emily has three. So, Ryan, you get first pick. Yes, I'm going to choose the five Stardust, actually. Oh, well, cool. how about that? I'm going to mark it off so Emily can remember the that was five very Stardust. Helpful. Did you already take the five Stardust? <laughs> I, no, can I, get a, can I get a telescope? Yeah. I will oh, definitely boy. take that. And then I get, get lupus. the card. This turn, if you take a rest action, gain Stardust equal to your pouch instead of refilling it. Right, so instead nice. of refilling up to five, you gain five. So if you rest when you have five, you start the next round of ten. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. No, it's not bad at not all. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm going to go on to... Oh, we need a new card before you make your decision. Yes. So... I was like working with Ooh, limited. Gemini. That's cool. Oh, I like that. So we are gonna have to we are gonna have to end it. I want to keep playing. I know well, we're gonna camera. keep playing. So how many? This is this is the last one. We'll this say is the last, this last one. one. So I'm done. Yeah, I'm you're done. done. You're done. That's oh, it. You're done. Oh, for Bye, camera, at least. Goodbye, David. We'll see what happens. I'll off be back. Camera. You'll hear everything I did. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to Gemini and just spend the rest of my three gems. I was looking to see if Gemini was connected. Two, it is two separate things. Oh no, it's connected there, at yeah. the top. It looks like it's connected, or is it? Yeah, there's a little line between. You spent all three of yours? Yep, and that's going to give me one wisdom. And that's it for me. All right, so here's the reason that I wanted to take the five is because I really, really want to finish Virgo. So I'm wow. going to drop two. Uh, it's, it seems like a really good card power, so I'm going to drop two there. And then I have to use my telescope Yep. to take a second action to spend four. Yep. And then I can do these four up here. So you did so much of that card. I did a lot of that card. But we did just enough. Just it's, enough. Oh, yeah. You are on the arm you there, are just, aren't you? Yeah, you, guys are, you guys are tied. Yeah, we're Simultaneous. tied. Simultaneous. So, so you is... could choose the same reward. And I feel like there's some really good rewards on here. I love these friendly ties. Yeah. Um, what do you guys want? Should I, because so, I'm in turn order, should I pick? Well, you could sure, pick I don't want to pick simultaneously. Well, I'm going to take the five points. Okay. <laughs> what do you want, Emily? I'm also going to take the five points. Really? Yeah, five that points. That is not what I would have taken. Well, I would have taken. The, too bad the, you got the, the card. Two good. Sack, or the two uh, bag. I want to call it a bag. Oh it's yeah, not... that, the pouch wouldn't have been bad because a you. two is not. No, that's pretty pretty significant. But five points is a lot, so it's as really hard to badly judge that. as I want to take mine. Are you done? I am. So we've we'll got... show you the next. Oh, Pisces. Pisces. Ooh, I like the shape. It's of another that. fourteen. Yeah. 
So I'm so seeing some common oh, wow. here. Seven. Seven. Mark two Star stars Star. on up to two undiscovered constellations of following normal rules, but you don't have to spend gems. That's nice. Still, that's kind yeah. of crazy. Yeah. Like that would be a great combination with Cassiopeia. It'd be a great yeah. combination with mine because they're both water. Yeah. yeah, so as much as I want to show you my next turn, because I was going to use lupus, I was going to rest, I was going to get lupus immediately back. Well, I mean, we'll that's, see it, that's David. What's you don't happen. have to spoil us. They can tell you all about yeah. it when we're back. But we're going to finish the entire rest of the game, and then we'll be back just in a few moments for you and tell you the entire experience yep. and see who came out on top. And we are back. We've been we've had our heads tilted up this entire time looking at the <laughs> night sky. We've identified... So many constellations. Many constellations. Um, and I'm gonna quite get, a few, actually. I'm going to get right to it. I don't get to usually say this in these uh -oh. games. That's true. Drum roll, please. I won. I actually <laughs> won this game, which is amazing to me. Uh, but I had, I ended the game with 58 points. 50? Need 50? I only had 41. I trailed. Ryan trailed. We played very different games. One of the things that I did, well, you saw very early on, mm -hmm. I put a bunch of uh, dots on Centaurus. That didn't work out yeah, like I, say, I thought it was. Yeah, how that feel for you, David? I thought, oh, I'm going to have majority. I'm going to get one of those big boons. But you know what? It just sat there because they didn't want to finish it. And eventually, yeah. Ryan put a bunch of dots on And it did get finished. Yeah. At some point. Eventually. At some point. Eventually. But it was, it was pretty late in the game that that yeah. got finished. But a lot of others got finished. And I think we learned a lot about the game because there's the abilities on the cards, I would say, are far more important, important than the points on yeah. the cards themselves. And I tried to play a game where I was grabbing points whenever I could. So when those boons came up, I was not taking the telescopes as much. I was not taking the other boons nearly yeah, as much right. as I was just like, you know what, I'll take the points. I think that worked out for you. I do think it worked <laughs> out for me because midway through, I was actually close up to 20 points. I was leading that those points but most of the time. One thing we found too was that getting the cards was super cool, some of these abilities, but they're really hard to untap because oh, yeah. it's only yeah, once on as it goes around. You have to rest at just the right time. So like I kept resting one away from where all my cards were. And so I just started being like, okay, we're going to focus. I got a bunch of water and I only rested when it was on water. So I could just be like, untapping yeah. all this stuff at once and that felt good but every time it was one off i was like are you kidding me <laughs> yeah and i had a variety of cards i mean i had two of the wind ones i had a fire and the mountain one so to use the rest action to un you know unexhaust the cards or activate them i wasn't going to be able to do them all in one swoop yeah which did lead me i think to considering i can't remember if i took it some of the boons were to untap a number of cards you did at the end yeah yeah that's very a... uh compelling so that you can use those abilities yeah because i had one ability the one that i pointed out to ryan at the beginning of the oh, game that cassiopeia? i took cassiopeia um and i was able to use that one at least three times during the course of that's the game so nice. for about i don't know somewhere between Maybe nine points, because I don't think I that ever got four. That was the four. difference in yeah. the game, yeah. that one card. It was, was, it was quite a bit. But that was a fun one to tap as a little bit of an engine. And then Gemini I was able to use to just... I got three on my pouch just from using Gemini three times. Yeah. Virgo, you had a huge one, right? The Virgo? I, oh. one turn, I only got to use Virgo twice. Yeah, but Virgo is a good, a big card. It is. I could put a mark a star and everything around it. But then you skip your main phase, and that actually bit me a couple times. Yeah, some of the cards so, are very... Uh, it was contextual yeah so like i i probably i put a lot more stock and i, I want to say too like learning how to evaluate the power of these abilities is difficult when you're sitting down like there's a lot yes. more depth to these powers and you really need to think like okay well like emily said how many times am i going to get to use this power versus what does this power give me yeah and also you know trying to look ahead and see like well how if we're on green right now maybe i have a chance actually if you like we rest a couple times and you know but if I use it now, it's going to be a long time before I get to untap it again. And so you really need to not only like qualify that when you're buying the abilities, but also when you are using them, like like the timing of using those abilities. And I think what Emily did so well, uh, she mentioned it was getting all those blue ones. And it was like, well, then you really don't have to worry about one thing. If you could just rest on blue, you're golden. And yeah, how many blue it. ones did you have? I had three blue and then I started with one blue mark. Yeah. So I got the full 11 oh. point bonus for it at the end. So that was yeah, what I was the going scoring for. is unique. So we got our points during the game. Then you get your points for how far you are on the pouch. I got eight there. I got six on my wisdom oh, track. Yeah. What did you guys get on? I oh, got you six on my wisdom track. <laughs> I just kept it at my five for the Emily pouch. Emily had a tiny little bag of stardust. <laughs> I had eight points. I actually got a lot of points. I got a lot of in-game points. Oh, so you you had the same as I did. I, I actually had quite a... I, I may have had 
just as I think I had just as many in-game points as you guys did, but I really didn't get points during the game. And I no. think again, I overvalued some of those boons. I was seeing they I was kind of like, man, David may be onto something. Like five points here, four points there. I just uh, wanted to like every time I see yeah. points staring me in the face, it's hard not to I take them. I think you made yeah. the right call. I mean, I honestly like between you and Emily, I was not in the running, but between you and Emily, I think if you had not taken as many points as you did, you oh, probably would have had you. I wouldn't have. The points are the low-hanging fruit when you're looking at those boons. They're sure. like, oh, they're points. The other things, especially if you don't have a lot of experience playing the game, you might not be able to go, okay, what's that toke? What's the telescope really going to mean right. for me? Uh, so I just stupidly, well, not so stupidly, <laughs> took the points. But you guys had a lot more telescopes well, going I, on but than I, I did. See, but I had too many. I ended with two at the end of the game, and they don't get you points. Oh, so I'm true. wondering, too, like... Oh, that time I took a boon for a telescope, maybe I could have gotten four points well, instead, Well, I just right? love the flexibility the telescopes give you because then oh, it's you can necessary. keep ob- observing either the same card or in a different spot. And sometimes you're like, geez, they just left me this spot. And you're like, but I have telescopes. Yes. I could do it a slightly different I, way. So for most of that game, I only had one card. Emily, yeah. was the, Emily was the queen of coming in and like separating cards. I was like, there were so many times when I was like, I kind of want that card. I'm like, look. There's like this one dot right in the center. And I'm like, oh, I've only had a telescope. So I realized like you really, really do need those telescopes. And some of my best turns were turns where I used a couple telescopes to trigger whatever effect. Yeah, so a number of cards, you ended up getting a total of five, I got five total. throughout the whole game. I only got a total of four through the whole game. You got a total of six. No, I, but I also eight, discarded two. So I, eight, right? I took eight throughout the whole game. So she cycled through eight cards, and that's really she had a couple cards, Pisces, that she was using really well. Oh, I love Pisces. I, I'd say of yeah. all of our games, you utilize the cards quite a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did sort of second, so well, and, I didn't even. Did I didn't third. get my cards until the last two rounds. You did get just like two of them in the last round. Yeah, I, I got like... two of them in the last <laughs> round, and then one of them the round before that. So <laughs> the good news is though. I mean, it wasn't good enough, but you got points for all but one of your cards. All of my cards, and this is an interesting thing, I don't mm. think we mentioned this, the cards that you've used and that are not active at the end of the game are not worth their points. So right. I effectively lost one, two, three, five points there. But And my last boon, David took the points for it, and oh. I got the boon to reactivate yeah. my cards, which actually ended up giving me four points more. And I was like, thanks, David. You take the points. I'll take my four points from active cards. Yeah, I would have been better off taking... I didn't do if that If you hate drafted, If sure, I could have hate drafted like... the boon. But well, that would have been good for you. That would have been two, three, four, five points. Well, I wouldn't have gotten them all. It was only oh, two. Oh, it was only two. I thought it was... There was one that was like three or... Like there was one that was some of these crazy boons are crazy, honestly. Yeah, when you look at the list of boons at the bottom of the card, you're like, it, like I said, they're all fairly equal if you know what all of them can right. mean to your yeah. game. Um, I mean, obviously, the point two points versus different. five points. The two points. But you don't worse. want to just take the one point every time. <laughs> but, but the first three <laughs> are like okay, and sometimes I took the stardust actually on a couple of the boons because it yeah, was really it nice just, to it's take. Just the timing. Trying too, to try to extend tempo. your turn so you don't have to rest, so that you can rest in the right time. Yeah. So getting some stardust mid round is really helpful. Actually. Yeah. So this is definitely a game. Astra is all about sort of like very strategically observing these constellations, mm-hmm. filling in. Maybe thinking what the next player can or can't do mm-hmm. for sure. You, you're not just going out and filling in as much as you can. Yeah. Um, we often were just using, like, I might have had like 10 Stardust and I'd use two. Yeah. Yep. Um, because I wanted that presence, mainly because I had Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. Oh, yeah. I wanted to just get little onesies and twosies out there and then hit Cassiopeia for yeah. three or four points. Uh, but it is a, a, a tense game in that respect, for sure. For sure. Astronomer Fair. versus astronomer versus astronomer. <laughs> wow, she said it three times. I know. Three times oh, better than I can do. If you have any questions about the game, though, please make them in the comments below, and we'll get down there and answer what we can. Yeah. Until next time, though, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and we'll see you then.